Yep, that brings us to amendment number nine. This amendment is labeled G.1, again by our drafter, Doug Gardner, who's also online, dated 322.16. And this amendment comes about through conversations with Senator Berta Gardner and uh, individuals who have been a part of a movement to ask the state legislature to consider as we have redefined um, the area of prostitution in many ways to, to describe the very awful um, fact of sex trafficking. And we've been doing that sort of piecemeal through the years that there are still some residual effects. And um, the bill that, uh, one of the bills that she introduced would actually completely legalize prostitution, this amendment is a narrow approach to addressing some of the very valid concerns that I felt we could um, deal with in a timely manner and incorporate into Senate Bill 91. So the amendment to Senate Bill 91 provides immunity for the charge of pros prostitution if the person contacts law enforcement when they are the victim of or witness to violent crimes against themselves or others. The violent crimes are enumerated in the amendment to include all degrees of murder, all degrees of assault, sexual assault, and sex trafficking. The proposal is a narrow legal mechanism that allows prostitutes and victims of sex trafficking to report criminal acts without being faced with the risk of, of arrest. So if you kind of think about some of the earlier bills we've passed in this commit committee regarding um, people who are using drugs or participating in a potential drug crime reporting the fact that an individual is um, in a in a life uh, a life health uh, safety threat one of the goals of this amendment is law enforcement gaining access to a criminal underworld populated by violent johns and sex offenders so our hope is that by making reports encouraging reports and giving immunity that law enforcement will be able to go deeper inside this network of harmful individuals Another goal is to provide police protection to people that work in the sex trade who might face the additional risks of violence at the hands of their customers or their pimps, leaving them vulnerable to further victimization. Um, I'd like to acknowledge that prostitution itself remains illegal. Um, however, a victim of rape, assault, and, and murder is still a human being under the eyes of law of the law and the perpetrator of that crime should not be allowed to avoid prosecution simply because the victim is in a position of fear such that they are afraid to call the police. Prostitutes and victims of sex trafficking are among the most vulnerable and underserved of all of, all of our populations, both here in Alaska and, and across the United States, frankly, across the world. People that work in the sex trade are as diverse as any other group or industry worldwide However, those at the very bottom of the economic ladder are faced with exponential rates of danger and bodily risk on a daily basis. A recent study conducted at the University of California, Berkeley revealed that of the 130 people working as prostitutes in the Bay Area, 82% of them had been physically assaulted, 83% of them had been threatened by a weapon, 68% of them had been raped, and 84% of them had re reported current or past homelessness. Another recent study of prostitutes in Colorado Springs found <clears throat> they were 18 times more likely to be murdered than non-prostitutes of the same age and race. Some legal analysts suggest that legalization of prostitution is the only true way to keep sex workers and trafficking victims safe. To avoid that drastic step and policy choice at this moment, an alternative is reached in this amendment to reach a goal of providing criminal immunity to prostitution in the narrow event that the prostitute is a victim or has or a witness to a violent crime that has been reported to law enforcement in a timely manner. So that's the amendment and there was an objection so I could describe it. Are there further questions about the amendment or further discussions? Okay, hearing and seeing none, then amendment number nine carries.